how will the Scarlets counter the threat of the Cape Town team? Well, I've got Sean Holly alongside me to answer that question. First strike of the afternoon, up towards the saucepans, she goes and over. The Scarlets are ahead, three points to nil, they lead. Sean Evans, on the throw. Let's move to hooker, Gareth Davis, a kick across. Davis, Williams inside, the opening try of this evening's clash. Is a home team one. Johnny Williams over for the Scarlets. We saw Manny Leboff do it for the Stormers, but it's paid dividend for the Scarlet. Well rehearsed in the week. Gareth Davis off his left foot is an open space, and Johnny Williams holds his depth to take the inside ball from Jonathan Davis. That is down to analysis, that is down to preparation, steady in opposition, and then ultimately the execution. Superb from the Scarlets. Johnny Williams strolling in under the sticks for the Scarlets. Simple conversion for Sam Costello. Should make it 10 points a zip for the Scarlets. Couldn't have wished for a better start. Roos again involved. Daimani offload. Oh, guess who it is? I'll give you one guess. Top try scorer. In the URC, Leolin Zas over for number 11 of the season. You've got Demani. Look at this. Little break on the outside, slips the tackle, the offload, and Zas, how easy. Right, Off his left foot, the past the, back, like the last defender. Nice like try, right, number 11 for the URC for this season. Demani gets on Javon Sebastian. Lovely step from Zas. So much attacking threat for the Stormers. Conversion is successful. Confidence strike. Scarlets extend their lead. Another one straight down the middle. No. Stormers throwing everything at the Scarlets just before half time. Leboc. Well, he went once, I driven know. back, went again. Gallant in there. Roos, he's trotting over for a try. He was involved many, many times in that phase of play. And he crosses for a crucial score just before half time for the Storm. Through the tackle of Tom Price. Looks to make this a two point game. Successful conversion. Plenty to play for as Manny Libok. Gets us underway. We've got Sean Holly, former Ospreys league winning coach, alongside me. They look so potent and close to the line with Willems, uh, Evan Roos. I think it would be the Stormers, but you never know. You do never know. Daimani takes the first line up for the Stormers in the second half. It's a pretty good counter initially from the Scarlets, but they're still moving. Kotzer has his hands on the ball again. Use it. They're told, use it. They do. Nell through the middle. And crosses just over a minute of the second half gone. Great start for the Stormers. The worst possible one for the Scarlets. What's Jonathan Davis here now? Ball watches a little. Just looking at the threat of Le Boc and Willemse. It leaves Nell in acres of space. And they've got their numbers wrong there. They've got their counting wrong. It's too much for the 13. And for the first time, they're ahead. Successful conversion. Scarlet 16, Stormers 21. Jack Price is the only Price left on there now. Hardy. Fury in there again involved. Who is leaving? I can't believe it. It's Dion Fury. Yeah, yeah. He's given everything for the Stormers and Parker Scarlet. Yeah, I'm, I'm on, mate. He's created all sorts of problems. The TMO looking at a potential uh, high yeah. shot there. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. Right. That's all. That's all he can There is neck contact. There is a dip into it. It's a yellow card. Six has been substituted, so we just need the substitute player to go off. Yeah. It's a yellow card for six. 
Another one that's been out injuries. I think he had a shoulder, maybe calf injuries as well. Did Johnny Williams? Outside Not arm. straight. Where's the ball? Price to Hughes. Hughes on a trundle. Two meters short. Where's the ball? Slow at the moment. Jonathan Davis. Long ball out. Combia has crossed for the Scarlet. But as Sean Holly said, five points isn't enough. They need this conversion. Phase after phase, battering away, and then a lovely lob pass from Jonathan Davis. Combi had worked his way around from the left all the way across to the right. And it was Johnny Williams in behind that just tempted Vass. Zass out of the line. Watch this. Zass comes out of the line because Johnny Williams has crept in behind. And the Hardy. Jonathan Davis. Pass behind. Oh, it's found. Has that canal gone forward? There. 30 back, seconds back, left on the back. clock. Five phases of play for the Stormers. Masimla, Leboc, Gallant. Long ball out to Nell. Nell's going to carry himself. And he's going to cross. A victory for the Stormers. A bonus point try. And a second for Ruan Nell. The Scarlets will lose their last home game of the season. Manny Leboc misses with a conversion, but it doesn't really matter for the Stormers. They can celebrate. They are the South African Shield champions. But more than that, they're up to second in the URC. Gell Stormers are the champions. Stephen Kitchoff gets his hands on the South African Shield. They secured it with a great run of form. Eight wins on the bounce. Finishing at Parker Scarlets. The DHL Stormers are the South African Shield winners in the URC.